We're in the Sunshine State. And we're going snorkeling. Check out these beautiful beaches. <laughs> Jimmy Jam, and this is Outdoors and Barbecue. Hello? What's the password? No. One of my favorite things to do in life, especially as a dad, is to introduce my kids to new adventures. This video is all about our recent trip to Florida to find some of the top places to snorkel in the Sunshine State. And so we're gonna show you four of the top places to snorkel in Florida. <laughs> about snorkeling is um, I get to be under the water and I get to have fun experiences seeing different kind of creatures. My favorite thing about snorkeling is that you can see all the sea life in the water. Number four on the list is Red Reef Park in Boca Raton, Florida. Located along the infamous highway A1A in Boca Raton, Florida, Red Reef Park is home to an immaculate beach and an artificial reef. The great thing about Red Reef Park is because it costs to get in, like $20 for a car load, it's not an overcrowded beach and it has a great place to go out there and snorkel for the kids to be able to see some great sea life, some different fishes and crabs uh, along the rocks that they've put out there as an artificial reef. The thing that you want to keep in mind about Red Reef Park is it's best to snorkel on a day when the surf is not choppy at off and at low tide. Uh, because there are some rocks out there, it's, it's very important to go out there when it's calm because even the best swimmer is no match for the ocean's tide and you can easily be pushed into the rocks and that just doesn't make for a fun day. What I liked about Red Reef Park was there was a bunch of rocks that had sea life around them and the fish there. It was My favorite thing about Red Reef Park was probably those rocks and the fishies. Number three on our list is Cannon Beach in Key Largo, Florida. Located at John Pennekamp State Park, Cannon Beach gets its name from all the cannons that they've sunk out there for swimmers to find. Though in 
when you get there, you're going to find that the water is green and murky. Uh, you're also going to find some sea life that's hard to find in other places, like upside down jellyfish and large schools of tarpon. The number two place to snorkel is Jenny Springs in High Springs, Florida. Jenny Springs is a privately owned springs in north central Florida that is among the best of all of the world renowned springs that you can find in Florida. My favorite place to snorkel was the Jenny Springs because um, it was really like cool looking being in cold water on a nice hot day and I did see some cool fish and stuff. Like I saw fish, there were tunnels that divers were coming out of and I thought that was really cool and I liked going to down the stream in the lake. The thing that we love about Jenny Springs is it's immaculate it's so clear the water is cool it's great for swimming on a hot day uh, and there's a lots of crowds there's a lots of people out there having fun uh, enjoying the springs floating down the river and just having a good time the favorite thing about Jenny Springs is probably that you can camp there and also you can rent tubes and stuff and like rest on them the thing to remember about Jenny Springs is it's packed. There's just no way around it. So don't expect to have the springs all to yourself. Just get out there knowing that it's going to be a party. There's going to be a lot of people out there enjoying it. So you should get out there and enjoy it with them. And the number one place to snorkel in the state of Florida is the Blue Heron Bridge in Riviera Beach, Florida. The Blue Heron Bridge is one of my favorite places in the entire world. When you're driving up, it looks just like a regular bridge. But once you get underneath the water, you find all sorts of things. You can find barracuda right off of the beach. Uh, if you search a little bit, sometimes you can find octopus. Uh, we found a seahorse. Uh, on other days, I've found batfish and sea robins and starfish and all sorts of different things. You just really never know what you're going to find at the Blue Heron Bridge. My favorite place to snorkel is the Blue Heron Bridge because there is a bunch of sea life underwater like starfish and fish, colorful fish, and there are these rocks there that have a bunch of colorful fish and big fish there. What's cool about the Blue Heron Bridge is about 75 yards off the beach, you're going to find a trail of artificial reefs that have been placed there to act as a snorkel trail. Uh, in addition, you'll find boats that have been sunk, you'll find shopping carts, and you'll find some hammerhead statues. The thing to keep in mind about the Blue Heron Bridge is you have to snorkel around high tide. It's really called slack tide. One hour before high tide, up to one hour after high tide. Uh, and really, you want to stay away from the channels in the first 30 minutes of that and the last 30 minutes. So you've really got to pay attention to the tide so that you don't get swept away with the current. What I like about Blue Heron Bridge is that there's a bunch of sea life that's really rare to find. And you always find something, you always come across something cool there. 
like we got to see all kinds of things. We got to see a seahorse. Um, we got to see um, like starfish and uh, all kinds of other things. And it's it was you can always run into something. I hope you enjoyed this video about four of the top places to snorkel in Florida. If you like this video, hit the like button down below. Uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so that you receive notifications.